So the ultimate expert in clean clothing may be your local dry cleaner, but their tips and tricks are yours for the taking. Thank you very much to Christian Dare. Christian, how are you? <laughs> Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. But listen, getting a stain on your favorite outfit is a huge bummer. So what does our dry cleaner recommend we do when that happens? Well, the thing with stains is it's like we always have to be careful how we're eating and what we're wearing. And I think a lot of us have learned over the years tricks on how to take out stains like pen stains or chocolate stains. But here's the biggest trick I learned from my dry cleaner who literally gets me through every day almost, is if you don't know how to treat that stain, don't attempt it. Especially if it's like a very delicate fabric, like a silk. I know we've learned all these things over the years, like try some hairspray, use some lemon. The issue with trying all these different things, if you don't really know how to get it out and with the delicate fabric, is you may actually set it in even more. So what they always say to do, especially if you've got like a wet stain, is first thing you should do is you should always blot it leave it alone if you're not sure how to cure it because you might make it worse. And then the trick I've learned from my dry cleaner is you take some little masking tape and we're going to mark everywhere we see a little stain. I also keep these little cue cards and I actually write on them what it was. And I use like just a little um, safety pin and I attach it to my clothes. And that way the dry cleaner knows exactly where the stains are and what the issue is, and he actually will treat it or she will treat it properly the first time instead of doing several attempts to try and get it out. That is so smart. Usually I just go there and I put the stuff on the table and I'm like, and then there, 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 there. And it's like, who's to say they're going to remember and they don't know what it is. <laughs> so that is so smart. Okay. We, you also have tips for what we should be doing with our clothing at the end of the day. Like apparently what? Don't just throw it on the chair or the treadmill. Do something with it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, don't just throw it on the chair, the treadmill, <laughs> leave it in a corner somewhere on the floor. So I think a lot of us especially will notice right away if we've spilled spaghetti down our front or like, I don't know, soy sauce on a white shirt. But I think a lot of us don't take the time at the end of the day to grab our garment. I always say put it on a hanger and just do a quick survey because there may actually be stains that are not really noticeable to your eye, like really obvious ones. Like sometimes you may have spilled white wine which you forgot during your fun night out. Mm -hmm. And then the next day you're like, oh, what's this little residue? And it's white wine. And it's good to know things like that because even though it's not gonna leave a stain right now, if they treat it with a heat formula at some point, it might actually make the sugars of the wine oxidize mm -hmm. and change the color of your clothing. That's probably why all my clothing is oxidizing. There's white wine all over all of it. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the invisible ways we might be damaging our clothing um, and what we can do to, to stop doing that. Yeah, so there's, I think, a lot of invisible damage that we don't even realize with our clothing that happens. So I don't know if you're notorious for this. I am deodorant. Oh, yeah. When you're in a rush and doing one of these, <laughs> trying to go under your shirt <laughs> and not getting undressed, that actually, even though sometimes it will leave a little bit deodorant on the inside and you might not get a stain from it, what actually happens is over time, because it's in there, as the dry cleaner tries to remove the either the fragrance, I also do this notoriously, I'm sure we all do, spritz it in the air and then walk through it when you're dressed. Oh, yeah. It actually, yes, your clothes are going to smell amazing all day, but it leaves little bits of alcohol, which is in here, and oils on your clothing. And although it won't necessarily leave a stain, what I've learned from my dry cleaner is when the dry cleaner uses chemicals to remove that, it sometimes will pull the color with it. Mm. So it'll come out, but then it'll get slight lightning in certain spots of where you've had that sort of deodorant. So one thing he recommends, unless you're a, don't skip deodorant at all. <laughs> Trust me, on the subway in June, I want you all wearing deodorant. <laughs> but if you can, I say switch to deodorant versus antiperspirant, because an antiperspirant, the aluminum actually will affect your clothing more than a deodorant. And I think your skincare will love this too. When you're putting on lotions in the morning or your deodorant, dance around your bathroom so it soaks in and dries mm. before you put on your clothing, and then you're less likely to get transfer. Oh an extra gosh, five minutes, yes. but your skin and your clothes will thank me for it. Also, you have a dance party. I do that anyway, so I didn't realize it was good for my dry okay. cleaning. Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's talk yeah. a little bit about drying our clothes because drying, the, the dryer is where all my clothes go to die. First thing you should avoid is over drying. When we over dry, we cause fading, shrinkage, or damage can actually happen because the fibers are delicate as they're moving around. So one thing they actually do in the dry cleaner, and if you're willing to do this, I do this, it's a little bit extra work, is 
You take your shirt out of the dryer when it's, uh, you, I just put it in a tumble for 20 minutes. So you get a, a little bit of the extra moisture. And then at the dry cleaner, I don't know if you know this, they often iron your shirts damp. Mm. So they're actually drying it as they press it. Like they've got a big presser, but so it actually preserves your cotton fabrics longer when they're just pressed or ironed slightly damp versus completely dry. So it's a great way to extend that idea. So if you want to do it at home, I always say like lay it flat, pull it out of the dryer a little bit e earlier, just so you're not overcooking your clothing. It will cause fading and damage. It's really something you want to avoid. Oh my gosh, Christian, so good. I know you got more tips. We will hit this subject again uh, on a future date on City Lines. We're out of time, but thank you. For